the last thing we need to now do is the digital signal pins that come from the Arduino to the chip to actually tell the chip what to do with the motor. First what I'm going to get you to do is grab four prototyping wires from your box, two of one color and two of another color. I couldn't find any long ones so I got two medium. Yeah, I mean I've managed to get two medium blues and two medium yellows. All right, that'll be fine. Good. So I'm going to use blue for my right motor. Mm -hmm. So if you want to choose a color for your right motor. So now, if you have a look at your chip, there's only three pins really. that are left that haven't been used. Mm -hmm. So on the right-hand side, actually, there's only two pins left that haven't been used. And if you notice, it's the second pin from the top and the second pin from the bottom that haven't been used. Mm -hmm. So we're now going to put one of our wires in the second pin from the top. So I'm going to use J4. So again, we're going to use the outside one so that we don't sort of... Because it's um, quite congested. Yeah. yeah, it's still congested. Yeah. So J4 is the outside one, and second from the bottom is J9. So I'm going to just put my other wire into J9. Okay. Now, these that we just put in to J4 and J9 are our digital signal pins. So now we're going to choose two pins on our Arduino on the digital side. So my Arduino, the opposite side to where my power and ground are, I have my digital pins. I'm going to choose two numbers to be the digital pins for my right motor. I'm going to pick six and seven. It really doesn't matter. but So six and seven are going to be my right motor pins. So now you should be able to guess then. All right, I'm Where going do you think to. your other ones will go? All right, so what I think is that I've gone two from the bottom and two from the top on the, um, on the, on the digital. So I'm going to put this yellow wire in A9, and that's two from the bottom on the outside. And then I'm going to go two from the top, which is A4. And then I'm going to connect it to any two that I choose. So I'm thinking I'll go eight and nine. Perfect. Okay. I'll do the same. So A4 and A9. And we've chosen to put them into digital pins eight and nine. And again, it doesn't matter which way around you go. as And we'll just do some testing later to find out which one turns it go turns the motor forward and which one turns the motor backward and we will code it accordingly. Okay, that sounds good. Awesome.